I'm a transactional lawyer. I specialize in mergers and acquisitions, private equity, joint ventures, and strategic projects. And I chose that field because I enjoy the art and science of negotiations. Uh, I also value the creativity that my practice affords me in trying to find uh, the best solutions for my clients' interests. Um, and I enjoy the complexities of the transactions I work on uh, and the variety of them. Each transaction is different and unique in its own ways, and uh, uh, I really enjoy the challenges that that poses. I think my clients value my commercial approach to transactions. I have a very results-oriented focus. Uh, I place uh, the greatest interest in achieving results for my clients uh, and cut off the underbush uh, and just try to get to the, to the solution they're looking for. Um, I also think my clients value my communication skills, um, distilling very complex issues to their core as a strong and compelling advocate for them. Um, I also think part of that communication is the listening aspect. Uh, I think my clients know that I listen and understand what matters most to them. Uh, and finally, I think I'm a good manager, uh, which is why I've been entrusted to lead and run complex, large, diverse projects, often in international transactions. I do find the practice of law meaningful. Uh, and to me, in my practice, um, I find the meaning in being able to achieve results for my clients, uh, notwithstanding very challenging circumstances, regulatory hurdles, uh, transaction complexities, uh, and very sophisticated counterparties that themselves are being advised by talented advisors. And w within that context, being able to achieve my clients' desire results uh, is, you know, one of the most gratifying things about my practice. Yeah. I think the challenge that I am most often faced with is sophisticated clients continuing to expect more value from their uh, outside lawyers. Uh, and I think I've been able to meet that challenge in two ways. The first is being able to staff transactions appropriately. At Blake's, we uh, devote a lot of resources at recruiting the best students in the country and in training those students to make excellent associates, which is a competitive advantage for us because it allows us to deliver value across the board, including at very junior ranks. Um, the second way I, I think we deliver value, and I certainly uh, try to do so in my practice, is the implementation of technology. Uh, again, at Blake's, we invest heavily in the tools and the training to make technology solutions available to lawyers so that we can implement them and discharge them uh, efficiently and seamlessly to clients. Um, I've spoken to numerous publications about the value proposition that the proper implementation of technology presents, uh, and I think firms that don't implement it and, and uh, put it to use in their practices as well as we do are, are obviously losing ground. But teamwork in my practice is at the very core of it. Um, by its nature, I run a transactional practice that involves teams, not only internally with colleagues at Blake's, but also externally with client teams, their non-legal third-party advisors, as well as local counsel, because I, I actually run a lot of international transactions. A couple of examples come to mind. One is a variety of projects I've led for CBS Corporation that have involved assets throughout the world, in Europe, in Asia, throughout the Americas, in Australia. Uh, that has involved local counsel all over the world. It's involved third-party ac accounting, finance, tax, valuation advisors, as well as a diverse client team. Uh, and the success of those projects obviously would not have been possible without a collective effort. Uh, and so I think those projects exemplify what transactional teamwork is about. Another one that comes to mind is a recent transaction I completed for Acon and ADC. They sold their majority interest in the Ecuador International Airport. Um, and that transaction, again, took two years from the start of the auction, which drew international interest in bids from strategic and financial players from all over the world, uh, through negotiations with multiple bidders, down to executing the sale and completing the sale to uh, Colombian and Brazilian conglomerates that bought those interests. Uh, and again, that involved teams, not only within the client, external advisors, local counsel in jurisdictions such as Barbados, Uruguay, British Virgin Islands, and of course, Ecuador. Uh, and it was, I think, the only transaction where strategic diplomacy was actually implemented uh, and used in ways to achieve the results we needed to be able to get regulatory and other approvals in all those jurisdictions, and which made it one of the transactions that I'm most proud and, and found, found to be the most rewarding.